a young boy living in the village, was troubled by the habit of not being able to forget old bad memories and thinking about the same thing over and over again. If someone told him something or if something went wrong with him, he would just think about that one incident all day. The same thing kept swirling in his mind all the time. Then, he either cursed his luck and God for some bad incident that happened to him, or else he kept on making thoughts of taking revenge on the person who had said something to him or did something wrong to him. Because of his overthinking habit, he neither had good relations with people, nor did he know how to do any work well. He was always in a state of tension or mental disturbance. Seeing his condition, one of his friends advised him that a Zen master resided in a nearby Buddhist monastery. Go to him, his friend said. He will definitely tell you some solution to this mental problem of yours. The young boy went to the Zen master and explained his problem to him about how he keeps thinking about the same event over and over again and cannot forget the old bad things or memories. After listening to the boy's problem, the Zen master got up from there and went inside the monastery without giving any answer. The boy felt a bit strange, but he still sat there. After a while, he saw that the Zen master was coming towards him. After filling a glass with water, the Zen master came and stood near the boy. Then the boy also stood in front of him. The Zen master asked the boy, Tell, how much will this glass weigh? The boy said, I cannot tell exactly, but the weight of this glass is very little. Now, the Zen master said seriously, My question is, what will happen if I hold this glass like this for a while? The boy said, Nothing will happen. The Zen master asked again, What if I hold this glass like this for an hour? The boy said, your hand will start to pain. The Zen master asked again, What if I hold this glass in the same way all day? The boy said in serious words, Your hand will start to feel very painful. Your hand may go numb, your muscles may get tense, and your hand may even die. The Zen master said, Great, but did the weight of the glass change in the meantime? The boy said, No, the weight did not increase. The Zen master asked, Then why was there pain in the hand and tension in the muscles? The boy replied, Holding on for a long time. The Zen master asked again, What should I do now to get rid of this pain? The boy said, Put down the glass. The Zen master said, Exactly. Life's troubles are like this. Keep them in your mind for a while. Then you will feel that everything is fine. Think about them for a long time, then you will start to suffer. Keep them in your mind for a long time, then they will start to make you nervous or crazy, and you will not be able to do anything. The Zen master, pointing to the boy, said, It is important to think about past mistakes and incidents in your life, but more important than that is to learn from them and move forward. If you keep on holding on to the same thing, then just like that glass, it will also cause pain in your life. If you sit with your past today, it will still be out of your hands, and then you will repent for it in the future. Be the person you want to be. For your past, or if you have been repenting for the mistakes you made, then try to become that person from today itself. Try that today you do not make such mistakes for which you will have to repent in the future. So stop worrying and focus on your today's actions because worry takes the person to his funeral pyre. It is important to learn from past mistakes and incidents in our lives, but it is equally important to let go and move forward. Dwelling on past events and continuously thinking about them can lead to pain, tension, and the inability to live in the present. Just like holding a glass for a long time can cause physical discomfort, holding on to negative thoughts and memories can have a detrimental effect on our mental well-being and hinder our progress. Instead of being consumed by regret or revenge, it is crucial to focus on our present actions and strive to become the person we aspire to be. By doing so, we can avoid future regrets and live a more fulfilling life. Worrying excessively only leads to self-destruction, so it's essential to let go of the past and concentrate on the present. This is Inspired Wisdom. Thanks for watching and stay focused.